Cardinals. This is your afternoon announcements. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be meeting on Monday, January 28th at 8 p.m. in room 004. Everyone is welcome to attend. If you have any questions, see Mr. Bartz, Mr. Plankers, or Mr. Youngberg. On Tuesday, January 29th, we will have our morph coronation. This will be a late start and we will be on a carnal time schedule. You must arrive in the field house before 7.40 a.m. If you arrive late, you must stay in the cafeteria. The coronation will end at 8.20 and our first hour will begin at 8.30. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be the last remaining robot on Earth? Probably not. But have you ever felt such a deep connection with someone that you overcome perilous danger? Of course you have. Student Council is hosting a movie night showing the Academy Award winning movie Wally on Wednesday, January 30th at 7 o'clock p.m. in the Cunarpas High School Auditorium. You can buy tickets at the door for only $2 and concessions will be available. Everyone is invited. Do you want to get your groove on? Want to strut your stuff? Morph is just around the corner. The dance will be Friday, February 1st from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Coon Rapids Civic Center. If you would like to bring a guest from another school, pick up a dance guest registration form now from either the main office or room 136. This must be filled out by an administrator from your guest school before you can buy a ticket for your guest. Tickets go on sale at all lunches starting Monday, January 28th until the day of the dance, but space is limited, so get your ticket early to make sure you don't get left behind. This all-inclusive ticket is only $10. This includes snacks, pizza, photos, and fun. Everyone is welcome. MORP is not just for underclassmen. January 28th through February 1st is MORP Spirit Week. Dress up and show your school spirit. Monday is Pajama Day. Tuesday is Dress Up Day. Wednesday is Band or Senior T-Shirt Day. Thursday is Flannel Day. And Friday is Cardinal Pride Day. Hey Cardinals, this week starts our nominations for February Staff of the Month. Staff of the month can be any staff working in our building from counselors to admin to custodial to paras to cafeteria to anyone here at Coon Rapids High School who makes a positive impact in your life. Nominate in cafeteria during lunch. Voting will take place next week. Thanks for making Coon Rapids High School the best place to be. This coming Tuesday, kick off our Educators Rising Annual Sock Drive for the Homeless. Sock collection will take place in your first period class. Sock and the original packing of any color and any size are needed. Cash can also be donated with $1 equaling one pair of socks. Did you know socks are the most requested and least donated to homeless shelters? All socks collected will be donated to Anoka County Homeless Shelters. Let's all rally around this great need and cause to reach our goal of 1,500 pairs of socks. The two first periods bring in the most socks will earn a breakfast of juice and bagels or muffins. As an added incentive, wear visible wacky socks during our sock drive and collect tickets from our Educator Rising members to enter Wacky Sock Wednesday drawings for gift certificates. Thank you, Cardinals, for making a difference in our local community. Students, we want you to consider being a part of the Multicultural Show this year. The show is on Thursday, April 11th, and we are looking for students who want to express some aspect of their culture through song, dance, poetry, spoken word, or fashion. Or, if you have a unique idea that hasn't been mentioned, we'd love to hear about it. There will be a sign-up sheet on Mrs. Snow's door in room 183B. Please also see Ms. Snow or Mr. Edwards for more information. And that was your afternoon announcements, Cardinals. Have a great day. Back down here on my favorite day of the week, Friday. And today for your dining pleasure, we've got that mini cheese ravioli. On the specialty line is going to be the cheese stuffed crust pizza. You're going to then enjoy a good weekend. And then when you come back on Monday, we have the spaghetti with meatballs. And on the specialty line, that French bread cheese pizza. Hope to see you down here. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks. Bluebirds start the scoring midway through. The first shot from the point hits traffic right to Annabez Kahlo on the doorstep. She scores that opens the floodgates. CPCR. They're going to strike again just 17 seconds later. This time it's Delaney Johnson walking out the corner, slipping a backhand under the keeper. The Bluebirds almost make it look too easy. They outshot the night 19 to 3 in the first period. Johnson again, this time her shot is stopped. There's Kala right there to convert the rebound. Her second of the game makes it 3 0. They get another one coming up just 30 seconds later. Puck played down low. Sophie Sengem with a great feed to Holly Johnson for the one-timer and CPCR in the front by four at the first intermission. They only get one in the second period. Abby Ness gets behind the goaltender and wrists one to the far side. Bluebirds add three in the third, including the hat trick for Bezcalo, and they breeze to an easy 8-0 win. 
Anoka took the early lead with a pin and a decision in the first two matches, but John Svoboda gets things turned around with his early pin in the second period. At 120 pounds, he gets North Torgerson in a headlock, squeezes for the pin at 217, hoping to spark his team. Gabe Degris will follow that up with a decision at 126. He gets the 5-2 win over Caleb Brandenburg and evens the match at 9-all. Moved to 128 pounds, Elijah Medimba able to put Anoka's Riley Emery in the cradle. Rack up some back points. He doesn't get the pin, but his 17-9 major decision gives the Cardinals a 13-12 lead. Moses Medimba moves down to 152 pounds. He gets the Cardinals another win. Strong double leg takedown, part of a 9-4 decision. Coon Rapids is in front 16-15 midway through. Tornadoes show their strengths in the upper weight, so Colby Noss gets Dimitri Seals in the headlock early in the third period at 160. He scores a big pin that puts Anoka back in front for good. Anoka wins four straight to secure the victory. They get another pin at 182. Bruce Muehlhauser gets on top of Eric Ramos, able to force him to the mat with just nine seconds left in the second period. That made it 30 to 19 Tornadoes. Just three matches left. Anoka keeps control from there and it retains possession of the Golden Shoes with a 34-22 win. We start on the vault. The Cardinals had three girls tie with an 8.575. Stephanie Hancock, Kayla Jones, and Aaliyah Vu. That was second place against Osseo. Sophomore Cassie Rushmeyer has the best score of the night in the vault of 8.7. First place for, against both teams, although there was a tie against Andover. On the bars, no one could equal the performance of Cardinals junior Aaliyah Vu. This routine scored an 8.5 and was top of the podium for the night. Great layout in the somersault on the dismount. It was a huge smile from Aaliyah. Nice job there. Rachel Dieters was untouchable on the floor. This tumbling run part of a very impressive 9.225, and that was first place against both opponents. Aaliyah Vu also strong on the beam last week. She shows an 8.4, that's first against Osseo, fourth against Andover. Nice job there. And Vu was first all around against Osseo and scored second against Andover. Dieters was second and fourth. It was a great team effort on the Cardinals score, 131.475. That beats Osseo's 122.475, but is short of Andover's 135. And Cardinals get the opening possession and start exactly how they had hoped. Set up right side, kick it out to Ashley Flatham on the left. She hits the three and gives the Cardinals the lead. But it was short-lived. Andover takes control with a nine-point spurt. Ashley White had 10 of Andover's first 12 points, and the Huskies led 12 to 6. Andover's full court press caused the Cardinals a lot of troubles on Tuesday night. They trailed by as much as 15 before closing with a spurt just before the end of the break. Still 26-18 Andover at the half. More offense from Ashley White early in the second. Great drive to the basket. Part of a game high 27 points. Huskies able to build the lead as high as 19. Cardinals were able to make it a bit more respectable by controlling the latter part of the second half. Laney Hanneman had a season high 18 points. She was the only Cardinal in double digits. White was the only Husky in double digits, but her team pretty much in control from start to finish. Mackenzie Mackey hits a late three as the Huskies run away with a 54-51 win. The home team grabs the early momentum in the first half. Kelvin Foy with a three-pointer off the inbound. He had a huge night leading all scorers with 23. The Huskies took the lead early and, and they are able to maintain it throughout the first. Jake Mallet hits the three near the top of the key and over up by as many as 10. Cardinals able to cut into the lead a little bit before the break. Reese Ma with a steal. He'll drop it back to Asayame to finish for the flush. Still and over up 26-20. Cardinals able to get some momentum on their side early in the second. Lucky Morange drops the three-pointer from the left corner. And he was just getting warmed up. Lucky from the opposite corner, same result, nothing but net. And the Cardinals right back in this one would go to the very end. One more for Lucky, this time high on the left side. Morange at 11, one of three Coon Rapids players in double digits. Cardinals able to take their lead late. And then able to pull away defense, forcing the turnover. Lucky pushes up court to Asayame. Another dunk, 38-35, Coon Rapids at that point. Late in the game, Elijah McGrath able to get the, go the length of the court, score on the layup. That gave Coon Rapids a six-point lead. They hold on from there, and they win this one, 58 50